Hi, I'm Ms. Hearn. Let's get started. In this video, we're going to analyze a survey using a Venn diagram. This is from my math lab from the book Mathematical Ideas. We are told that 66 students in a classical music lecture class were polled, and the result was that 38 like Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart, 37 like Ludwig von Beethoven, 33 like Franz Joseph Haydn, 14 like Mozart and Beethoven, 22 like Mozart and Haydn, 16 like Beethoven and Haydn, and 9 like all three. And the first thing is complete the Venn diagram. Let M be the set of students that like Mozart, B be the set of students that like Beethoven, and H be the set of students that like Haydn. So I've created a Venn diagram that looks like the one you're supposed to fill in in my math lab. Whenever you have a three set Venn diagram, it's, uh, it's gonna divide the uh, universal set U, the rectangle, into eight regions. So I've numbered them using Roman numerals one through eight. I've also summarized right here what they're telling us about each of these sets, where M is the number of students who like Mozart, B is the number of students who like Beethoven, and H is the number of students who like Haydn. So, and of course U is the universal set. So they told us the total number of students, the number in the whole universal set, the whole rectangle, is N of U equals 66. The number that likes Mozart is 38. The number that likes Beethoven is 37. Haydn, 33. The number that like Mozart and Beethoven, so and is always intersection. M intersect B is 14. Um, M intersect H is 22. B intersect H is 16. And the intersection of all three is nine. So step one is going to be to find a fact that you were given, one of these facts in the list, about the number of elements in a single region. So for example, N of U is the number of elements in the set U, which includes all eight of the regions. N of M is the number of elements in M, which includes regions one, two, six, and four, four unknown regions. We want one of the sets here, hopefully in the list, that is telling us about a single region. Intersections are usually a good place to start. In a two set Venn diagram, an intersection of two sets is usually where you start, like M intersect B. But notice that here in a three set Venn diagram, M intersect B, the little football shaped piece where these two overlap, includes both region one and region four. So that's not a single region. So instead, look at this intersection of all three, M intersect B intersect H. That's where all three of the circles overlap. That is a single region, that's region one. So in this case, M intersect B intersect H tells us how many are in region one. So that's where we're gonna start. Now just as a side note, if we did not have a fact here that told us a single region, sometimes it's useful to use the cardinal number formula to help us find a single region. In this case, it's not necessary, but in some of your homework problems, that will be the case. So keep that cardinal number formula in your back pocket is a good tool to have. All right, so let's look at what happens when we label region one. Region one, again, is M intersect B intersect H, has nine elements in it. So after we label that, our next step will be to find any remaining facts that include the region you found and only one other region. For example, in this case, M intersect B, the overlap between M and B here has region one and region four in it. We already know region one. So if we now know M intersect B, we can find region four. And that's the case not just for M intersect B, but also for B intersect H and M intersect H. All of the uh, intersections of two sets include that region one and only one other region. So for example, B intersect H would include regions one and three. So if B intersect H has 16 elements, 16 minus nine equals seven elements in region three. So let's label that. Cross off the fact that we just used because we're not going to use it anymore. And now let's move on to another intersection fact. M intersect H. This football shaped piece right here 
which is made up of regions one and two. So if you take the fact that there are 22 elements in M intersect H, 22 minus nine equals 13 in region two. So we're gonna label that 13 and we're gonna cross off that fact. Now we're gonna focus in on M intersect B. M intersect B is comprised of regions one and four, but we know that M intersect B has 14, nine of which were already labeled in region one, so 14 minus nine equals five left in region four. Label that region four to have five elements, cross off the fact that we just used. All right, so we've used all the intersections and now we're going to continue in the same way, but now we need to find another set that's only missing one region. For example, the set M only has one missing region, region six. The set B only has one missing region, region seven. And the set H has only one missing region, which is region five. So we're gonna focus in on those one at a time. Let's start with set H. So in set H, there's supposed to be 33 elements. We've already labeled 13, nine, and seven, all parts of set H. We can't count any elements twice, so to get a total of 33 in the whole circle, I need to take 33 minus the number in each of the regions that have already been labeled. 13, nine, and seven. Add those up, you get 29. So 33 minus 29 is gonna give you four that are just in that last region, Roman numeral five, that we haven't numbered yet. So let's number that a four in region five and cross off our set H. We've already used that fact. Now let's move on to the next fact, the number in B. In the set B, which is the whole circle, we've already figured out that there are five, nine, and seven in regions, Roman numeral four, one, and three respectively. Since there are 37 in B, we have to subtract 37 minus the amount in, that we've already labeled, seven plus nine plus five, which is gonna be 21. 37 minus 21 gives us 16 that are in just region seven alone. All right, next we're gonna look at the set M, which is supposed to have 38 all together in the whole circle, which is comprised of these four regions. And we already know that we have five, nine, and 13 here. So if you add those up, let's see what's left over for region six, Roman numeral six. So 38 minus five, nine plus 13 is 38 minus 27, which is 11. So region Roman numeral six only has 11. So see how I've labeled that here. And now I've crossed off my M and now there's only one set left, which is U. So we are down to one fact and one unknown region. And I just want you to remember to avoid the common error of thinking that U is a region, region eight. People often think these are the same thing when in fact region uh, eight is everything outside the circles. U includes all of the regions. U is actually all of regions one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So when we say there are 66, you can't just write a 66 out here. That 66 includes all of these other values that we've already labeled. To find eight, we have to use the fact that there are 66 in all of U and subtract from it the amount that's in each of the other regions, all seven of them. Turns out if you add those all up, that's 65. So that leaves only one person who was in, who was polled, whose answer was outside of those sets. So that one person did not like Mozart, did not like Beethoven and did not like Haydn. In fact, that's the number in the set of all the people who don't like Mozart or Beethoven or Haydn. So there's only one person who's in the complement of the union of those sets. I also wanna mention that this region eight could also be represented if you apply to Morgan's, this would be not in Mozart and not in Beethoven and not in Haydn. 
So these are two common ways that you might see the set comprised of only region eight represented. Just be on the lookout that region eight, that region that's outside the circles can be represented in a couple of different ways. In the next video, we'll discuss how to answer questions about the survey using the Venn diagram.